Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Before we start, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. I love to do this for you guys. So any support you like to uh, give the channel to help it grow and flourish would be greatly, greatly appreciated, even if it's just a like or a share, comment, whatever. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Sagittarius Love Connection Reading, second half of September. And this can be any kind of connection and with whatever you have in mind. So it's not specific for committed couples. It's not um, specific for anyone just dating, crush. It's for any kind of connection that you have right now with anybody that you have that you're thinking about right now. All right, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Doesn't have to be all of them. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For the last half of September, this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get we may get a planet sign or element. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is a little extra bonus. So let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius spirit, please? Second half of September already, Virgo. All right. So some of you could be dealing with a fellow Virgo, as I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in their chart in some way and if you're not that's totally fine or if you don't know your other person's chart there is a link below where you can get a free birth chart so if you know their birthday in their um maybe place of birth you can get well it's kind of like snooping but you can get their uh free birth chart also so they could have um Virgo in the sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I know my uh, my Venus is in Virgo. So, all right. What do we have for Sagittarius? End of September already. Can you believe it? Starting a fall, spring and fall are my favorite seasons. I don't like to sweat in the summer and I don't like to be freezing cold in the winter but if I had a choice I probably would take winter because you can always warm up <laughs> okay so especially if you have a partner I guess and to snuggle up and get warm with one another all right so what do we have for Sagittarius so what I'm going to do first, if you're not familiar uh, with my readings, I'm going to pull an overall love energy card for you and whoever you have in mind. What is the overall love energy like for you? Love connection energy like for you and whoever you have in mind at this time, Spirit. Please, for Sagittarius. Second half. Wow. All right, I'm going to take this one. Communicate clearly. So there needs to be some kind of communication between you and whoever you're connecting with here. And the Virgo does uh, represent the Hermit in Tarot in the Major Arcana, which speaks about uh, being uh, reclusive on your own, doing inner journey work. So it could be that you are apart from each other and there's no communication, uh, you're just being off on your own, doing inner journey work, uh, just being in solitude. And there may not be any communication right now. All right, so let's see, Sagittarius. What is your energy like? And how are you feeling about this person at this time? For Sagittarius. And then let's get one for your person and how they are feeling about you, whatever you have in mind. How are they feeling about you and this connection? Right. Let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. There's something better. Oh boy. Okay. And then how your person is feeling is trust. All right. So you're feeling like 
there's something better. I don't know. So either you feel like there's either something better than what you have now in your situation, whatever that may be, or you're feeling like this there's something better than this person. I don't know. Or there can be a better um, connection here if there's communication. And your person here is trusting in the process. They're trusting in the connection. They're, you know, they're asking you to have trust in them in this situation so they're in a very trusting energy and you're in an energy where you either want things to be better or you're just thinking that there's something better than the connection you have with them I, I don't know we'll get some clarity on this with the um, tarot but let's see what's on the bottom of the deck ask your angels so you may need to ask your angels and your guide, your spirit team, if you believe in that, and that's what you do. Is there something better, or is this the person for me? Hmm. And you see, like, this person with a bouquet of flowers, like, bringing a peace offering of some kind. I don't know here. But I see abundance, so ask your angels. I do see there can be abundance with this connection. And you're ready, so you may be ready for this connection. Maybe you're ready for a better connection than wherever you are now, but you are ready to take action. Someone needs to take action. If you believe, wow. If you believe. And meditation brings answers. Wow, okay. I could go, I could go and go and go in this deck, but, and that's ask your angels, and meditation brings answers. If you believe, you can take action. You're ready, and there's a lot of abundance here. Wow. So... Okay, you can't see all those cards. All right, so let's clarify what's going on here. Sagittarius. So I don't know why you have there's something better. I don't know what you're thinking, what you're going through. You know, maybe you're unsure about this person, if they're the right one for you. Um, you know, maybe you feel like Oh, maybe there'll be a better opportunity to come along. Or you're sitting in an energy of there's something better than where you're at now. And it could be with this person. I don't know. So, why does Sagittarius have this energy of there's something better, Spirit? Please, thank you so much. Why is Sagittarius in this energy of there's something better? The second half. And one for your person. All right, so we have the Four of Swords. So, yeah, exactly. And I had, and that's with the meditation and the Ask Your Angels. Here's the air energy. Uh, you can have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, this is thinking, contemplating, resting, as with the Virgo energy here. Contemplating, healing, doing inner journey work here. So, you're, you're just thinking about this connection, like, is this the right person for me? Or is there something better out there? Is this going to be better than the situation that I'm in now? Um, here, just really thinking and contemplating and doing that inner journey work, as with the Virgo, with the Hermit energy. So your person has trust. The Three of Wands, so they're waiting. <laughs> the Three of Wands here, fire energy. So they could be a fire sign if they're not a Virgo. So this is, and the fire is Leo Sag Aries. So Three of Wands is seeing your... We, your destiny out in the distance there, but for now, there's a period of waiting for the right time. So they may be, so they could be waiting for you to decide here if you you believe this is a good opportunity for you or if there's something better out there. So you're kind of in limbo. and But they're trusting in this connection. They're trusting uh, in their faith, their spirituality. They're waiting for that communication to come in. And you see the two dolphins there. It's kind of like two coming together, like soulmate energy. So they're waiting for you to make up your mind whether or not you want to connect with them or um, if you think there's something better out there for you. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. All right, so, so we have the Six of Pentacles here on your side. So... And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is a painful ending here. Uh, ear energy. 
painful ending, but then there's always a new beginning. So they either have just gone through a painful ending, completed a cycle, and now they are ready for new beginnings, or they have fear that their this connection may just end between the two of you because they're just waiting for the communication. And you're trying to balance yourself out here with the Six of Pentacle energy. It's about balance. So you're doing the inner journey work and really balancing yourself out, trying to, to decide if this is the one for you or if there's a possibility of something better. So let's see what the actual situation is now. We've got one more. One more. The Sagittarius. All right. Let's see what we have. Whoa, we got the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. So connecting to you is the Ten of Cups. And this is total fulfillment in every single way of love. It's love and emotional fulfillment and uh, a bond, you know, really strong bond, happiness and joy. All the cups here being totally full of happiness, joy, abundance, uh, love, fulfillment, emotional in every single way. So you're trying to decide here, will this be balancing yourself out? Will this be a balanced connection? Will it fill all my cups? You know, with the Ten of Cup energy, can I have the Ten of Cups with this person? And then your person has the Nine of Pentacles. So they're definitely single here. They're stable, they're secure, and they're grounded. They can take care of themselves. They're financially set. Very, very uh, abundant here. A lot of growth, prosperity. Kind of, you know, their energy here. So they're very secure, stable, and grounded. And they can take care of themselves. So they're not, you know, they're not going to be dependent on you because they are self-sufficient here. But they're waiting and worried, you know, is this going to end? Or they just came out of an ending themselves some way here. Or there's a needy, need here to end the stagnancy between the two of you with communication. But connecting the two of you is the queen of pentacles. So, and that is the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So, you know, they could be earth or have earth in their chart. Oh, this just represents the security and stability between the two of you. So I do see, you know, a lot of growth, abundance, security, stability in the connection with the Queen of Pentacles here. They definitely could be Earth or have Earth in their chart. They could have Earth, air, fire, could be anybody. But they're very secure, abundant, stable. They're single. They're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. They could be an entrepreneur. They could have their own business. They could be a boss. That could be your energy also. That's the connective energy. So let's get more. Uh, oops. All right, let's get more clarity here on this situation. We have a few clarifiers. Okay. Wow. So we have the Five of Wands and we have Strength. So we have Fire. Strength is Leo. So you could be definitely dealing with a Leo here. And we have the Five of Wands, which is fire again, Leo Sagittarius. So Five of Wands here, feeling very conflicted. And that's on your side here. So you're feeling very, very conflicted as you balance yourself out. You know, this could be conflict around you also, or competition, inner conflict about this connection. You know, do I want the Ten of Cups with this person? Like I said, thinking and contemplating about this you know, will this be good for me or is there something better for me out there? And they definitely could be a Leo here with strength energy. So they're definitely filling the bond with you with the infinity symbol here. They're very strong willed. They are courageous. They're brave. Uh, they have willpower. They know how to tame the beast from within. They know how to tame their ego. They know how to tame their emotions, their feelings hold back when they need to, communicate when they need to. Uh, very uh, strong energy here. St and they feel a strong bond and they're trusting in that with you. All right, so let's see what's your advice in this connection, Sagittarius. What is your advice in this connection? You're just wondering, wondering. You don't know what to do. You're trying to decide. You have all this inner conflict. 
Either they want one for me. Is there something better for me maybe in the future? They're waiting for you. They feel the strong bond. They're very secure. They are secure, stable, and grounded. And single. All right, so one more for Sagittarius advice for the end of September in this love connection. Can we have one more? All right, take the bottom. All right, so, wow, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Four of Pentacles. So we have two queens here. We have Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. <sighs> so uh, I'm not getting third party. This can just be energy. So no, the Queen of Swords, your advice here with the Queen of King or Queen, Queen of Swords doesn't matter. It's just energy. You know, this Four of Pentacles, here's that Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is an energy of not giving to others. It's kind of like holding on to your stability, your security, uh, holding on to what's yours and not giving. But it, it can also speak of holding on to some, holding on to something and not letting go, but also holding back. So it's like you want to give to this person, but you're not sure because you're not dropping the coin. You know, it's almost there, but you're not dropping it. So you're holding on, but you're not letting go of this connection. Like you're not giving to the connection, but you're not letting go of the connection. But here's the communication here with the Queen of Swords. So that sword's all about truth, clarity, communication, uh, standing up for what you believe in, cutting away energy no longer serving you, not taking any BS. So Communication is needed here. Um, even though you're holding back from this person, you're still holding on to them, but you're holding back to them. And your advice is, you know, communication is needed here. Clear communication in this situation of either why you're holding back from them and uh, maybe you're still holding on, but yet holding back. And speaking of all this energy that you're in right now in this connection, so let's get more clarity on your advice for Sagittarius. More clarity on your advice, Spirit, please. Can we have a couple more cards for Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Chariot and the Eight of Cups. Wow, so this is moving forward. You know, the Eight of Cups can speak of walking away from something, but also it's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you could be walking away from a water sign because uh, we have chariot here too, which is cancer. So you could be, you know, walking away from a water sign, but you're moving forward. So you're definitely moving forward in life. Um, this is moving forward, a lot of drive, balance, ambition, determination to be successful. So I think you're wondering here, you know, if I walk away from whatever situation I'm in now and walk to this person, and move forward towards them and take that swift action here. You know, the Four of Pentacles does talk about stability also. Will this be a stable, grounded connection? And I see that it will be with the Queen of Pentacles and, you know, the Queen of Swords is all about that truth and clarity. So you're really, you know, your advice is, you know, to at least communicate to this person about the connection, how you're feeling, the pros, the cons, what you're going through. You know, if you're leaving something here, walking away from something and wondering about walking forward to this person, all the energy here and look, the chariot is right under Leo. So you could definitely be leaving a very conflicted uh, situation that you're in now, but then you have positive movement forward and it could be towards a Leo. And this Leo also wants this positive movement forward towards you. That makes sense for some of you. But they're also worried about this connection just ending with the Ten of Swords energy there also. Or they're waiting for you to end whatever cycle you're in. You know, whatever hermit mode you're in. They could be just waiting for you to end that. So if you take movement... Actually, this goes like that. If you take movement towards this person, Sagittarius, what will the outcome be? There's communication. There's at least communication 
in this connection towards this person, what will the outcome be? What will the outcome be? The King of Wands, so there you are. Leo, Sag, Aries. So this is uh, being in your power. This is being the King of Wands. This is going after what you want, having a lot of drive, ambition, passion, success and victory, go-getter kind of energy. All right, so definitely that's your energy. So what else? Being in your energy, knowing what you want, going after it. And then we do have um, the chariot there. So you're going after something. And there's the Ace of Swords. And there's the King of Swords. Wow. So <laughs> you definitely could have heavy ear in your chart. I'm feeling fire and air. So now we have the King of Swords. So not only are you not a knight, not a page, but you're coming out as two kings. The King of Wands being fiery, passionate, determined. King of Swords having truth, clarity, communication, communicate clearly. Standing up for what you believe in, cutting away the BS, telling it like it is. Very clear, cut, open, uh, truth, honesty, but also drive, passion, ambition moving forward. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So here's that, that truth, that clarity, the brand new beginning of truth, clarity, between, uh, could be between the two of you, moving forward with truth and clarity. King of Wands, King of Swords. So the outcome be, could be here that you could move forward towards this person with just a lot of truth and clarity, clear communication about the connection, what you want, what you're afraid of, what your fears are, um, moving forward. All right, so let's see what's on, because I do see if you believe and take action because you are ready, there is abundance and ask your angels and meditation is that resting resting um, energy here of contemplating and thinking moving forward but I do see here you know you're wondering is this my ten of cups person but they are stable and grounded so in single and this this stability connecting the two of you but there needs to be definitely here um, at least communication in this because there's an energy of holding back and I don't know why I'm shuffling. So I'm supposed to do the bottom of the deck. So we have the tower. Okay, so this just could be a big aha moment, a big realization, a big epiphany here. It could be a surprise coming in. Um, it doesn't have to be something negative. I mean, it can be, uh, you know, a big shake up and breakdown of something also. Or it could be a very surprise, big surprise that comes in. Um, Big epiphany moment, realization here. The Wheel of Fortune. So there you are, Sagittarius. Fate, destiny. So I definitely feel like this connection could be fated for you. Um, I think you're trying to figure that out. Is this something that is fated? Is it destiny? And the wheel is here to say, yes, it is. That the divine here, the source, is bringing in this tower moment for you to get this wheel turning in the right direction. This is better luck, abundance, fortune, time, destiny, fate, things going in the right direction. And if you don't make it happen, then the universe is here to say, I will make it happen. But stop turning this wheel. The Empress. So, you know, and this is divine uh, feminine energy. So somebody who is very abundant, who is the mother of the deck, who is all the queens combined into one. You know, passionate, loyal, trustworthy, uh, honest, dependable, stable kind of energy. And this is the birth of something new with the Empress energy. Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, working hard. So may have to work hard on this connection. Put in the dedicated work and effort to build it into something strong, stable, grounded for the future. And there's a... And I just... Spirit just said Ace of Cups, and I didn't know this was underneath, and here's the Ace of Cups. So this is the brand new beginning in love, divinely, divinely guided here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is fate and destiny, something meant to be. Uh, this is your divine feminine, if you are, you know, can be male, female, whatever here. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This is your person. Uh, it's fate, destiny, 
working behind the scenes here with the Eight of Pentacles to bring you Wow, and then we have the Four of Wands, which could be Twin Flame here. Again, with the Soulmate Twin Flame energy. We've been getting this in your readings, almost all the readings here. And this is about uh, celebrations, ceremonies. It can be about commitment, you know, leveling up. Um, here, definitely Twin Flame. This is your Divine Feminine or Masculine, a brand new beginning in love, emotional, loving fulfillment in every single way, being handed by you to you by the divine energy here who's working hard here to make you realize that this is your soulmate twin flame wow and they're going to make it happen in some way shape or form whether you know that or not with the tower there make you realize here uh as you're thinking and contemplating about this wow so all right let's see and this was in your last reading, so wow, this is still coming through, still coming through for you. So this may be the same collective I'm reading for. Um, spirit's really trying to tell you that you're still unsure, uncertain, thinking, contemplating, that this definitely is your person. All right, so let's get, and there definitely needs to be communication here, and I feel like your person is waiting that communication to come in all right so let's get some advice and guidance for you Sagittarius Sagittarius second half of September what advice guidance extra advice guidance from the oracles here for you Sagittarius there we go make a wish this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So, you know, this is having, this is like wishing upon a star. The star energy, you make a wish, wishes and dreams coming true, having faith, hope, and optimism. Divinely guided. The star is a divinely guided energy. This is very, again, with the divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy still coming through because you're not believing in it, you're scared of it, you're, you have fear. Um, it's still in this hermit mode with the Virgo energy there, thinking, contemplating about this. All right. This could be all your dreams and wishes coming true. All right, anything else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Ooh. Father healing, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So if you've had any father-related issues, father, grandfather, father-like figure in your life, um, maybe you've had a father figure just recently within the past year pass over is what I'm getting. Any issues with that, you may need to heal from that. You may need to, uh, and this could be part of your inner journey work here. Healing those issues may help you move forward. And then let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care, receive without guilt or apology. So I really feel like um, your person here, you know, wants to give you like love, affection, whatever here. And um, this is telling you to let yourself receive that. Maybe you don't feel worthy. Maybe you know, you don't feel ready, you, you know, you don't feel like you want it right now, but they, you know, want you to receive what they have to give. And then we have ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. I guess, again here, make a wish, heart's desire, wishes, dreams coming true. And over here we had you already and ready, set, go. So <laughs> double confirmation there for you, Sagittarius. And if you are ready, but you're not taking action, you're not communicating, maybe you're not even sure how this person feels for some of you, this is saying it's time now to communicate something with this person. And on the bottom of the deck, helpful person, someone wants to help you, think of whom that may be, and, and initiate contact. So maybe, you know, there's somebody here you can seek out advice from, uh, contact them about your person, to know if if they're still single if they're open to your connection with them they're still open to that maybe there's someone here that can give you some insight on the person you're connecting with 
So, no Sagittarius. I do see definitely soulmate, twin flame, divinely guided energy again for you. I feel like you're you're almost there. You're almost ready to take action, but uh, still kind of stuck in your own energy. And there's communication that needs to be had in some way, shape, or form in this connection. Okay, Sagittarius. If this doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past readings. So maybe something there will resonate for you. Check the titles. Something resonates. Watch it. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. And if you do like the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. For all the signs so don't miss out on that if you don't like receiving all the notifications for all the other readings i ask that you don't unsubscribe you can as easily go and unclick the bell you'll no longer get um notifications you'll have to manually go into your your subscription area in your youtube account and look for my readings in there or just go to my page and look for new readings if you are subscribed okay uh so wishing you the best of luck here, and um, my advice is to go for it, but that's totally up to you, um, Sagittarius. So good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.